Mr. Brown. Thank, Thank you. Just, if you don't mind. Yeah, go ahead. Just a few things. We're talking about, I think, um, somewhere between five and 700 acres, approximately. Right. Um, I'm just trying to think of other things that might be more satisfactory that would generate the same type of revenue out of a small piece of land like that. Because I think we have like 46,000 acres in this town. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, it's a pretty good bang for your buck in that respect, isn't it? You're talking about revenue in terms of, of town, revenue, the 11 million, 7 to 11 million? No, revenue both town and state if there's a state compact. In terms of the, the number of jobs and, and so forth? Dollars. If you get to one, one point something billion, you might be generating 400 million for the state depending on the deal well, they guess, cut, right? I guess the closest thing I could say is comparable is Miles Standish Industrial Park, which is uh, a shade under 500 acres. Um, it employs about 7,500 people and I think turns about $4 million in, uh, in tax revenue to the city a year. Do you know what it turns to the state? I, I do not know. I mean, okay. through payroll taxes of those 7,500, it's got to be pretty significant. Well, there were a couple of things that I just wanted to sort of deal with because I'm trying to figure them out. You say there's no mechanism for sharing the money that comes out. So Middleborough's got its deal. Yep. And at some point, there will be a state compact if you're going to have class three. Yep. And I, I assume you've read the Indian Gaming Regulatory Act? I have not. But I, okay. I am familiar with familiar it. Familiar with it. There's the, the, there are the, the portion that discusses what goes to the state under the compact seems to include a couple of components, one of which is impacts and the other is cost of regulatory administration. Mm -hmm. When you say there's no mechanism, it seems to me that you are excluding the state representatives, the senator, senators, the governor, and people that could stand up if you've got, what is it, your 18... 18-member task force covers, what, 250 to 300,000 people? Yeah, I think that's about Yeah, that's a lot of votes out yep. there to put some pressure on, I don't know, Representative Flynn, Canessa, Calter, and a number of other people to make sure the money gets here. But you're probably skeptical like I am that it's actually going to get to the region? Well, I, I don't want to say skeptical. I just want to say there was no mechanism in that that ensures it does come back to the region. I mean, the state has enormous infrastructure needs statewide. And while they would give lip service, uh, one of the legislators talked about sharing uh, money with contiguous communities. Now, I, I went on the map, and Middleborough is a big town, so you have nine. We have nine of them around us. And that's pretty unusual. And some of them, I think Taunton just barely touches it across the Taunton River. Um, but I think that's a terrible idea for how you would share that revenue. Contiguous has no bearing on the impacts, the traffic, the, the school kids or whatever. So if, if that was what uh, the legislators had in mind, and I think that probably was an offhand comment. I don't think that's a policy statement. I, I would be concerned as a town because it doesn't bear any relation to what this facility could mean to me in terms of number of cars coming through every day. I, I'm sorry then, because I, I must have been incredibly confusing what I was asking, so I, I can clarify it. Um, IGRA provides for whatever percentage the state is taking in a compact for dealing with impacts. Yep. In order for those impacts to be dealt with, it seems to me that the representatives from the region need to represent and basically say, this money isn't going to bridges and tunnels in Boston. It's going to the impacts that are caused by the item that's being placed in our midst. So the mechanism is your representatives. If you don't have very good representatives that are fighting to bring the money here and are not very convincing to cover the impacts that you folks identify, because you said you were identifying them for the region, but we'll get back to that in a second. It seems to me there is a mechanism, and the mechanism is the tribal state compact in which the task force and other communities that believe that they are impacted submit impact statements um, to convince not only using their 250,000 people to, oh, I don't know, turn the head of a couple of politicians here and there, and that would turn anybody's head, um, but to also argue for the impacts that need to be covered. Because that's the thing that the money's for. I think you'd agree. I do, but Igor does not say 
I mean, it's up to the surrounding communities to make their case to the legislators. There are no guarantees within EGRA that says those monies come back to the towns. So you're right. It, it, you know, they should be able to put on the political pressure, and it would be logical that that money would come back. But even under the governor's plan, uh, in the letter the task force sent to the governor, the, um, the mechanisms in there are pretty inadequate. It just talks about, you know, considering regional needs, but there's nothing that, that mandates it. Well, it, 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 seems, it, it seems to me then that the difficulty is, from the outside perspective looking in, is precisely what you said. Middleborough has solidified its deal so far and the rest of the communities are not really, really willing to rely on the um, good graces of the state or their representatives, or to rely on that and really stake their futures on it. I, I think that's fair. I okay. mean, I think they don't want to rely on the good faith of their representatives. They want to make their case forcefully, and that's, I think that's part of what the regional task force is trying to do. Well, that's part of the thing that was getting to me, too. You were talking about you thought that the task force should have allowed Middleborough on, and you thought they were wrong. Yes. But you're going to continue to work with them? Yes. Okay. And have you worked yet with the Casino Resort Advisory Committee? No, I have not. Are you intending to? I, I, I only know of its existence, but yes, I certainly I think that would be appropriate. Okay. And you were talking about the regional impacts. And there are a number of impacts that you talk about. I think the first thing that I saw was your, what, SERPED actions relative to a proposed casino in southeastern Massachusetts approved by the SERPED Commission. What was that, J July 25th? I'm sorry, what? what July 25th, talking? the SERPED actions relative to a proposed yes, casino. Yes, yes, that's correct. That's three days before the town meeting vote, right? That sounds right. July about 25th, three days. I think, is correct. I'm just trying to figure out the, I think the papers and Chris, Walgren, who's sitting in the front, could probably tell me. I can't remember exactly when the discussion of negotiations began. Um, was there, I can't remember you folks contacting me with regard to what was going on or any potential impacts. Did you contact anybody else? Um, I did have conversations with Jack Healy, um, uh, but uh, the fact is, is that I don't think we knew a lot about it until the deal, the first deal, because I believe it was a, there were two different deals negotiated. One, John Witten was involved in negotiating, and that was not officially adopted. Um, but no, we did not ask to intervene, and, and nor were we asked by the town of Middleborough um, during those negotiations to participate. Well, I mean, part of what is surprising me is it seems to me that part of your, I think what you folks say, in your concept is SERPED must play a lead role in representing the interests of the entire region. I imagine a lead role means you lead. You're not waiting to be asked. You're going to oh. jump in and sort of take a, take a leading position. I, I guess that's correct, yes. And then you talk about we'll act as a convener of area cities and towns to develop a regional consensus. I assume that regional consensus includes Middleborough. I, I would very definitely agree with that. But yes. the task force doesn't. It does not. 